Hey y'all, it's TX Stampin' Sharon. Welcome to Stampin' Live with Sharon. Tonight is my technique class for January 2023. Good gosh, Happy New Year to everybody. It is uh, January the 5th at 7 o'clock p.m. Central. If you're joining me live, I want to welcome you. If you're watching the replay, I hope that you are inspired and that you will give some of these techniques a try. I've been a Stampin' Up! demonstrator for over 25 years. I absolutely consider myself a teacher and I love sharing my passion with you. So if you're not a techniques person, I hope these cards still inspire you to maybe make them a different way on your own. So I think that everyone is uh having lots of fun in the comments tonight. Hello, Melanie Fanjoy. My birthday is coming, girlfriend. How are you? Oh my gosh, Melanie and I used to be neighbors back when our kids were babies. <laughs> um, hi, Debbie. Thank you. She loves my shirt. Um, hello, Michelle Batson. I want to welcome you especially. Michelle is my moderator. She helps answer any questions uh, guide you in different directions. She will post different links for you in the in the chat box. Um, I get my head down and get into all of this, and sometimes I miss your questions. So if you have a question, you can uh, start typing the at sign and start typing Michelle Batson's name and ask her directly um, if she misses, misses your question in the comments. So I hope that everyone had a wonderful holiday season, and I hope you got your your sleeves rolled up tonight and getting ready to um, have some fun with us while we learn five new techniques or maybe visit new techniques or visit, revisit some that you already know. I hope that I pull out maybe at least two out of the five that you've never done. So we'll see. We'll see. So um, I want to um, let you know how this kind of works. So I'm going to go ahead and add my other camera in. So I have this idea that I came up with, gosh, years ago, was to have a reference book on my craft table that I could open up and flip through and find inspirational uh, techniques instead of Googling them or searching and like, what is the name of that technique and how do you do that one? Um, and so my technique book is designed, now let me just take this out, years ago when I first started with Stampin' Up!, this is how we got our technique books. Cute. And look at that. We used to have to cut out our stamps. I think we talked about that last month. <coughs> Excuse me. But these were our little technique books. And one of my viewers sent me two of them. So I've kept them nice and safe. So at the beginning of the album, and this album is... Um, actually a photo, uh, like a memories and more photo album uh, on the Stampin' Up! website. It's designed to put pictures in. Okay, but we're not using it for that. Well, we are. We're putting pictures in, but a different way. So the first couple of pages are my indexes. Okay. And we've been doing this now. This is volume 12 that gives us 65 official techniques in our book. And then a couple of extra freebies that we threw in along the way. <clears throat> so we are on number 12. This is our one for tonight. I have a free download for you over on my blog. Um, let me grab my blog banner real quick for you to see. When you um, go to the blog, www.txstampin.com, you can go to the shop button and shop for tutorials. This is a free download. There's lots of free downloads over there. Y'all need to go check them out. But tonight's tutorials for all of these techniques will also be on there at 8 p.m. Central when I'm done. Hopefully I'm done by 8 um, that you can purchase or you can earn them for free with a $50 order or more on my Stampin' Up! website. So that's when you're buying Stampin' Up! supplies. Maybe some of the supplies that I use tonight that you don't have. Okay, so when you um, when you order the album, you have to order the... Um, refill pages that go inside. Let me just flip that over. Um, and they come different ways, okay? So I want to get to one section. So do you see this right here? There's four up on a page. What do you do about those? How do you use those? Okay, because I want you to use the entire pack. I don't want you to waste your money. 
So what I did was I put them, I put my supplies, the picture of my card and the instructions over here, instead of having it like this and this on one page. Make sense? And then same thing here. Here's this card. This was shadow stamping. That was a lot of fun. Um, and so that's how I did it. Okay. All right. You can cut up the PDF or you can leave it whole like this. Okay. On When you download the PDF, it's going to come like this, eight and a half by 11. You can um, trim these down. Well, you don't need to trim the first page. Um, you will trim these down to fit in the album. Okay. Or leave it whole and put it in a three ring binder. Now, something new that I've added tonight underneath the video, underneath my videos are tons of links, tons. You can find me, shop with me, all the things below the video. There is a link now for the supplies that I used for the techniques that I'm doing tonight. So it's, I kind of did it by stamp sets. So when you see this, this is what it looks like. And it starts off with stamp sets. And then this little scroll bar will go down and you will see all the things that I'm using tonight. And so if I if I don't say something or you don't know what it is, you can go look on my uh, website at using that link. And so let's say you wanted to shop with me, you can click or unclick any of the boxes and it all adds to your cart. It's like the easy button. There you go. So, all right, enough of that business. Let's move on to our fun techniques for tonight. Um, Terry Biggs can't find the big screen. Hmm, that means I'm not on your TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, oh, Joe Phillips just got a cricket. She's going to be making some cards with that. I know my family keeps saying, do you want a cricket? And I go, no, I don't know how to use that. I don't know how to use that. So the first one we're going to do is this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got, can you see the texture in that? And it's so soft. It's like Charmin soft. <laughs> it is toilet paper. Mm -hmm. We're going to use toilet paper. So fun. An oldie but a goodie. I hope that you, um, I hope that you will enjoy this technique. So I give you the supplies that I use in the tutorial. And then I give you the instructions. Okay. So we're going to set this aside. Let me get my other chair here. Because we're going to need that again. Okay. <clears throat> what am I using? I'm using the Sweet Citrus stamp set that is new starting today from the mini catalog. This launched today, um, January the um, 5th. What's today? The 5th. I know, right, Stella? You're like, Toilet paper for card making? Let me tell you, you know, all these crazy techniques, how did they start? Well, they started because back in the day, like I've been doing it for 25 years, we didn't have all the fancy things that we have now. We didn't have all the embellishments and the dyes and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So people got desperate. They're like, what can I use in my house? Toilet paper. <laughs> anyway, if you are one of my customers, you should have received this already in the mail. If you did not then you can um, request one. If you don't have a demonstrator, you can request one on my website where the link is below the video. I know I'm going to sound like a broken record. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out. Sorry, I have got a lot going on over here. So the first thing um, I want to show you is that this comes with dyes. Okay, the citrus, sweet citrus comes with dyes. And then... It comes with an embossing folder. So it's one of those hybrids, okay, where the dies will cut out, but we're going to use it as an embossing folder tonight, okay? We're not going to do any cutting. You'll be seeing that embossing, you'll be seeing this whole suite again from me soon because I love it. The other thing I'm going to be using for my card is the stitched rectangles. Um, you can also use those beautiful napkins to make cards. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, and I did, I wanted to show you, <clears throat> this is just um, basic black paper, okay? And you can you can use that if you don't want to use toilet paper, which give the toilet paper a try. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. 
All right, so let's get everything out. And I want to share one quick thing with you. If you want to color these, I recommend just using a sponge dauber like that to color them. Look how fun. So yeah, like I said, you're going to see this sweet again because it's way too fun. Okay, just had to say that before I forgot. All right, let's move all this out of the way. Um, we'll put this over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where are we going to put all this? All right, we're going to get some toilet paper. And I'm going to get a paper towel to protect my surface. Now, when you're doing this, <clears throat> you want to, we don't need stamps yet. You want to get several layers. Move you out of the way. All right. We need a bigger craft table in the studio. All right. We want to get several layers. Now, um, I, you know, there's four little things. So I like to do this and then just tear it. And then we're going to place this here. And then we're going to take, I use my spritz, big spritzer bottle that's for the cleaning, um, the stamp and scrub. And I want to spritz this. I want this wet. Okay, and just to make sure it's wet on both sides, I'm going to do this. Okay, we want this good and wet. Um, we don't want it dripping, dripping like coming out of underneath a faucet kind of wet. And <clears throat> we're going to do it again. We're going to get more. So that gives us eight plies. Okay. So you start deciding, do I want eight or do I want 12? Eight works. So I, I just stick with eight. Um, but I'm getting this pretty wet, okay? And I'm tapping it down. What happens is when I press this through the Stampin' Cut and Emboss, it's going to kind of meld those wet fibers together. Um, and so, oh, we need to... I'm going to put the toilet paper. I'll put the toilet paper way over there. All right, let's get our stamp and cut and emboss. And we're going to, oh, I know what I want you to do. The next thing I want you to do um, is because that's pretty wet, I want you to place a single paper towel on top to kind of absorb some of that moisture. Okay, we don't need it ringy, soppy, wet. And we're going to be using a 3D embossing folder. So I'm just using plate number four. And I'll run this through. Huh, look, hmm, that's copper. Oh, well, <laughs> it's like glitter, glitter in my house. We had some glittery Christmas stuff, and I told my husband, I'm like, sorry, and he goes, look who I'm married to. <laughs> I'm like, well, rude. Now, can y'all see, can you see how wet that is? When I ran this through the machine, it really squished out that water, and that's what you want, okay? We want that water to squish out. Now, I'm going to lift this off. And I think with it being so wet, oh, let me tip this. Do you see how deeply embossed that is? Isn't that fun? It's like poofy. It's poofy. Poofy is a word. Now, you need to hang that up to dry, literally. It needs to dry all the way through. Um, I did one earlier so this so that we can move on with our show. But this needs to dry completely, like hang it up with a clothespin and walk away. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. And we're going to bring out the one that I did earlier and that is all good and dry. Okay, so it's kind of got a little tail on it there. It's all good. Now, <clears throat> this also embossed. Let me show you one. I, I think I ended up folding it. I folded this towel, um, but it. It separates. So 
could you use this? Maybe, but it's not as poofy. It's not as, I don't know. It, it's a difference in, in texture, in texture. Mm. This one's stiffer. This one's softer. So it's, you could still use the paper towel, but you already did the toilet paper. So just use the toilet paper. <laughs> Who's late? Who's late? Somebody just showed up. Um, Kate Rat, you need to do the toilet paper. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to go back and watch the beginning. If you're just now joining me, I am teaching my technique class for the month of January 2023. And um, you, uh, I have PDFs that um, are available for purchase or to get for free in my uh, when you place an order on my Stampin' Up! website. So what you want to do now, I have already, let's bring our card back in. I have already die cut um, using the stitched rectangle dies my Daffodil Delight border, okay? So I don't know if you can tell, but I want my fruit to match up, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to match up our fruit. And there we go. And there we go. So do you see how it's matched up? I've got my leaves. Boy, I don't know. That's really hard on the camera. I don't know if y'all can see. Can y'all see that or not? Okay. So we want, we want the fruit to continue on our frame is what I'm trying to tell you. So it may not necessarily be centered. You, it's more important to match that up. Now, if you're not doing uh, an embossing pattern that matches or that it matters that it matches, then don't worry about it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add quite a bit of liquid glue because we have that absorbent, semi-absorbent toilet paper to absorb it. Okay. And so now we're going to do this again. And... We've got some time to move it around. That's starting to match up. There we go. Okay. What y'all think? Pretty easy so far, right? Um, Margaret placed her order today with that was more than fifty dollars. She will be getting her 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 uh, techniques. Um, tomorrow morning, I will email out to everyone who placed an order today. Um, and then everybody who places an order the rest of the month will receive the techniques via email. Um, when I get notified of an order, I add you to the list. Um, now I'm human. So, you know, it might take a, a day or so, but I promise you will get them. If for some reason you don't get them after a couple of days, then you could email me and say, hey, I really want those techniques. Now I'm just trimming this down. I'm trimming the toilet paper edges off. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Whoops. We have some fibers over here. So it's pretty easy. Um, you do want to use the liquid glue because I think it would be the best one to, um, I, I don't think you could use a tape runner kind of glue or anything else. You just need that liquid glue. Okay. So we're going to give this some more stability and I could have added the uh, toilet paper to the basic white layer and still trimmed it. It's kind of the same thing, but I really want to make sure that my frame matches my toilet paper. <laughs> it's so funny to keep saying that toilet paper, toilet paper. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to add some liquid glue. Oh my gosh. Do y'all know what I learned? Okay. When your liquid glue is running low, did you know that if you open up, so I've got one end open. If you open up the other end, it allows air to flow through and it will get the rest of that glue out. You know how you're like shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. You're like, I know there's more in there. I just learned that yesterday. This glue is pretty full, so it won't, the trick won't really work, but um, yeah, pretty fun. Okay, we're going to do this. 
you know, all the things that we can all teach each other as paper crafters is just endless, endless. Okay. All right. So let's get our base. You're welcome, Margaret. I'm glad that was helpful. Y'all are just chatting away. I see all my friends on there just chatting with each other. You know, what a better place than to hang out on YouTube, chatting with a bunch of fellow crafters, people who love to do what you do. What a great community. Okay, so to save time, because I do want to um, share everything with y'all tonight, I have pre-cut, pre-stamped and pre-cut all my pieces um, to add to my card over here. I really didn't want to put much over the toilet paper part. Um, I wanted, you know, I want to be able to see it. So, yay, I'm glad y'all love that tip. Speaking of those tips, um, so I was talking to my friend, uh, Karen, who lives in Arizona, and we were talking about all the tips and how can we share them with people, you know, because like I gave you a tip during this video, but you know, how do I remember what video that was that I gave you that tip to and all of that. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So starting this week, well, uh, this week's been kind of crazy. Starting soon, this week or next, I am going to start putting a tip of the week. We're going to call it Tuesday Tips of the Week. So starting Tuesday, I'll just proclaim that right now. Starting Tuesday, we are going to, um, okay, that's all I need on there. We're going to have a tip of the week. And I've already started compiling the tips so that, um, you know, you will have them. Okay, I really want, I don't want, so you see how my leaves came off of this side? And I thought, well, it's cute, but I don't want all of them like that because you can't stick it in the envelope. So, um, yay for Tuesday tips. So we're going to do Tuesday tips. There may or may not be a video. I don't know. Haven't thought that far through it. I just started the list of tips and the liquid glue was definitely on that list. So um, let's see. Why am I having so much trouble with this? Let's just do this. And we're going to add, whoops. Come on. I didn't lick my finger. I promise. I almost did. Years ago, when I first started doing videos, somebody got on to me about licking my finger and I was like, oh, did I do that? I did. So I try really hard not to do that on camera. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this. Let's do this one. Yay, Starla's excited about my tip idea. There's so much, you know, tips about different things, how to use the Stamparatus. And, oh, I have a huge thing coming about the Stamparatus. Y'all have been asking for it and it is coming. I promise. Um, because everybody, everybody has one and knows the basics maybe and thinks, wow, what else can this thing do? Well, let me tell you, it can do a lot. So we're going to have some fun with that coming up in the next couple of weeks. So basically you want to be on my newsletter. You want to be on my newsletter. If you're not already on my newsletter, you need to be on my newsletter. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to do this this way. No, I'll do it this way. Um, because on my newsletter, we're going to have the tips of the week. And we're going to have, um, you know, things that can make your life easy. That's what we want. We want easy. I think I need to quit talking because I am really struggling just putting this card together. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I haven't seen y'all in a while, so I have to catch up. Took a couple weeks off for the holidays. All right, we're going to put this one here. These cute little flowers, these are done with Flirty Flamingo, and I thought they were just too cute. Oh, yeah, I want to wait on that one. No, we're going to put it right here. Okay. I already fussy cut my um, happy birthday. Have a zesty birthday. Probably should have waited on that flower. Here, we're going to take you back off. I knew there was a reason I didn't want you on. Um, how do you get on my newsletter, says Jennifer Purvis. You click on below the video. So if you're on a mobile device, you I think there's a, a little drop down on the right-hand side. If you're on a desktop or a computer, there is a read more or show more button underneath my video. And 
it says join my newsletter. Okay. So when you join the newsletter, <clears throat> you will get the tip of the week and you will also get any reminders about a YouTube live like this one, um, all kinds of stuff I share. Oh, and I do share two. Ah, that's another thing that's changing. I share tutorials um, each week and I've been working with a group of other demonstrators, but I'm going to start doing more of my own technique to uh, my own tutorials. All right. So we had that slice of lemon left and I'm like, oh, we're, you're going inside. Okay. That took a while. How'd we do? Yeah, that took a while. It was a lot to it in the sense of assembly, but it's a fabulous card. And I hope that you guys will try toilet paper, the toilet paper trick. <laughs> oh my gosh. What else is going on in the studio? Oh, I know we had some new stamping friends or some stamping friends join my team because celebration also started today and celebration is when you spend $50 in January and February, you get to pick something out of this brochure. Um, but there's a fabulous promotion going on mm -hmm, that you can get three choice. You have three choices when you sign up as a demonstrator. And no, you do not have to do YouTube videos like I do. You can pick out the white mini uh, cut and emboss or the new boho blue one. Or, and those two are for $129, you get a choice of $175 worth of product. When you do this, you're saving like $95. It's crazy. You can have the option of just $99 with no mini and still get to shop for $175 and you only pay $99. You will pay sales tax, but free shipping. Free shipping could be $26. Mm -hmm. It could be a lot. So we're going to go more into that tomorrow. I am going to be doing an unboxing on my business page and on YouTube. You're going to get the link in the morning. There's going to be a YouTube version. For those of you who are not on Facebook, I have figured out how to do it both ways. Wish me luck and pray that it works. That's all I got to say. How about this gorgeous technique? We're calling this embossing paste technique, but it is stunning is Amy Williams in the house. Amy Williams is on my team. She said she was going to try to join us tonight. Amy Williams demonstrated this for our team at a meeting, and I went crazy over it. Um, but the meeting was, I don't know, a couple months back that she did it. Well, I told her to make a YouTube video. Amy Williams has a YouTube channel. Uh, she is on my team. You need to support her. It's Amy Williams, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. Go find her. Not now. Don't leave me. Go find her and check out what she is up to because it's fabulous. <coughs> okay, we need some, some paper here. Now, I am using shimmery white paper. I love shimmery white. I think it's a good paper for this project. And um, I think it holds the moisture better. Your paper is going to curl. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm just getting all my supplies that I need. I used a new stamp set called Dainty Delight that is in that mini. Thank you for your kindness. Okay, that's right here. Let me get my other supplies. <coughs> and we're going to get a drink. I got a tickle. Enoch, shipping is based on the amount of the order, so it is 11%. So if it's less than $79, $79, $70, it is $7.95. After that, it goes up according to the total amount of the order. So like on a $200 order, it would be 11%. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to get our... Move this out of the way. Has anybody seen this? <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on. Michelle has posted Amy Williams' link in the chat box. <coughs> what? Uh, Margaret, are you asking me what did I do with two of these? Are you talking about the mini cut and emboss? Ah, there's Amy. She's in the house. 
Amy, it's your time to shine, my friend. Okay, <clears throat> let's see if I can do Amy's card justice. If I don't, just lie and tell me. <laughs> All right, I've got my um, silicone mat, and I'm going to use the um, shimmery white embossing paste. Now, notice that it's still in a bag, okay? This stuff will dry out. Now, when I lived in Arizona, I was shocked at how fast this thing dried out. You want to do everything you can to keep this lid sealed and double bagged and all of that. Now, let me just show you on mine what happens. The lid that, you know, the little piece that goes in there always sticks. And I'm glad it does because it's like an extra seal over my embossing paste. When I opened it, I did not remove the foil all the way. I just left it, okay? And I've had this now for a couple of blah months. And that has kept it moist, okay? I'm going to use this the palette knives. You uh, are feel free to use any of them that you any shape that you want. Um, I'm going to get three little when I was writing the instructions, I was like, globs, blobs. I went, I think I went with globs. <laughs> it's like three. It's not a puddle. What is this, guys? Help me. Is it a glob? I don't know. I don't know. So I went, I went with glob. So you guys know me. I'm silly. I am from Kyle, Texas, but don't hold that against the people here in Kyle. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to. Now, see, I'm going to put my lid back down, my little foamy lid. And remember, we want to really see glob, okay? We want to really tighten that, and we want to put it back in the bag. I'm demonstrating that for you so that you don't forget, okay? Otherwise, a couple months later, it goes by, and you're like, I'm going to try that cute little, um, <clears throat> cute little technique that TX Stampin' did with that glob. Thanks, Michelle. And... Um, it's going to be dry. I promise. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm using a drop of Night of Navy. And just going to stir that up. Ooh, nice and dark. I've done several of these and they all look different. All of them. They never come out the same, which is fine. Okay. They don't have to. All right. So I'm just going to smoosh that off. It's another technical term. Smoosh. Push that off and I'm going to get a paper towel. I'm going to clean that off. Now I'm going to use balmy blue. How about a schmear? A schmear. There we go. I Okay. A schmear would have worked. A schmear. I didn't know. I mean, we get, you know, when you write instructions, you're like, I know what I'm talking about, but are they going to know what I'm talking about? So this is. Balmy blue. Boy, that does not look balmy, does it? It really is dark. It's funny. Okay, let's get that off. We want to keep everything we can. See? We like that one, Card Princess. And then this one is Pool Party. I might have should have gotten another blob. Schmear. And see, that almost looks green. It's just so fun when you mix... Um, Makes me feel very artsy, very artsy. Oh gosh, guys, guess what? I got invited to a studio where the lady makes paper. I'm so excited. Stay tuned because I'll be sharing pictures. I'm going to be making some paper. I don't know what kind, but I'm going to make some. <laughs> okay, so again, we have our shimmery white cardstock. And I'm going to push this over here. Um, you could use paint brushes. Um, you could use the aqua painters. Um, I am going to be using the aqua painters for something else tonight. Yes, for my watercoloring. So I've chosen to just use some uh, paint brushes. Okay. Um, and I'm going to start with, uh, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to start with this one. This was um, balmy blue. Okay. And I'm just going to add across the middle. This kind of gives you a chance to have some control maybe. But this is this is a super easy 
technique and I don't want you to stress. It doesn't matter. It's still gorgeous. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to brush. Okay. Just brushing, just kind of blending that. And so can you see the glitter? Can you see the shimmer? It's so pretty. So pretty. How am I doing, Amy? I love Amy. She's my buddy. We go way back. All right. So I'm kind of seeing some spots here. Those schmears look like stamping up flowers. They do? My Oh, these do. Okay. Oh, okay. The schmears. Okay. And then we have our brushing. We're just brushing. Okay. Now, I'm not too worried about cleaning my brush because, you know, we're just adding more color. So, <clears throat> whoops. Um, I could have gone along the middle again if you want to do that. Um, but I realized that I'm really adding the lighter color on top. So, it doesn't really matter. It's all good. Remember, Amy, you have to lie to me and say, you're doing so good, Sharon. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch brushes and I just want a little bit of the darker. Okay, I don't want a whole lot. All right, so it's going to get a little bit. Joe says, thanks for sharing this. I won. I wondered how to use it. I must get that now. There you go. You're welcome. All right, so now I uh, really don't want a whole lot. I'm just going to add. No, that wasn't enough. Just add some of the dark. This is the Night of Navy. Okay, and I'm kind of brushing that off. I just want to add that in. And it's just, it's just so fun. It is really stress-free, guys. Okay, you just, you don't want to get stressed over this. Look how pretty. Can you see the shimmer? Now that is the iridescent from the shimmery uh, paste. Okay. Um, Amy's talking about, yes, we do. Good thing we don't get any older. Oh, hmm, I know you're not talking to me because you know I'm getting old. All right. Okay. This has to dry. Okay. Um, this needs to dry completely. What happened to my, I throw away my paper towel. I am out of control. <clears throat> this has to dry completely. And, oh, it's way over there. Um, I'm going to cover all this up like that so that it doesn't make a mess while I'm finishing up my projects. And we're going to put this over here. And I have one, <clears throat> excuse me, that I did. So because this needs to be completely dry before we do the next step. Um, oh, Amy says I am doing great. She's a little behind because she's buffering. Um, Okay, so Michelle is asking me, uh, could I use stencil paste for this to work? Sure. Amy, tell us what you used the very first time. Was it Mod Podge? Help us out, Amy, when you showed us um, for the meeting. We have a lot of fun at our meeting, so you guys need to join our team. Mm -hmm, that special I talked about. All right, so what I was saying is this needs to dry. And I mean, I, I know y'all can't tell on the camera, but it's wet underneath. It, it is wet. So this needs to be set aside with our wet toilet paper over there, and you need to have it completely dry. You can't dry it with a heat tool. You got to be patient, just like the toilet paper. Okay, so you're going to be doing tonight's technique class. You're going to do these two techniques, and you're going to walk away and let them dry. Okay. Um, <clears throat> oh, Amy says she loves the Navy. She's going to do that next. Okay, so now what we want to do is I'm going to, I might be doing this kind of backwards, but... To give you the effect of a finished card, I am going to add um, this layer to my card base. And I am adding a lot of Seal Plus because I don't want it to lift up. Okay, so we're going to add this here. Look! My nails match. You guys didn't tell me that. Stop it. I didn't even plan that. That was such a fun surprise. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Why do I have a Stampin' Scrub? Because this is, this is one of those great tips that you're going to get in my newsletter. Whenever you are playing with tiny bubbles... <laughs> 
these little suckers. I didn't do this. I told Amy on the phone yesterday. I said, Amy, I'm going to show them something because I it, this re I remembered this trick or this tip when I started picking all these up off the floor. They get on your work surface and they bounce around. You can't see them. Then they're on the floor. Same thing with these little sequins. Okay. When you want some of these, put them over here. Then you can pick them up and they don't roll around. If they do, they roll here. This is called controlled environment. Yeah, controlled environment. That's what we want. So what I'm going to do now, I don't think I need that. I'm going to get my liquid glue. Kate says I'm always coordinating. I try. I don't even like to, I don't even like to get dressed to just hang around the house if I'm not coordinating. Like y'all can't see my pants, but they're this color. No, wait, this color. Mm -hmm. They all have to match. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so I really want a lot of glue right here in the middle. Okay. And that may not even be enough, but we're going to do it for the, for the sake of the video. That's enough. Can you add this layer with green glue instead? Yes, Gwen. If you're going to add it with green glue, just make sure that you uh, let that dry before you start adding things to it. Now, you see what's happening? These little balls, they're rolling around, but we have a controlled environment, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? So we're just going to add a mixture of these. These are the effervescent, effervescent balls, effervescent, what are they called? elements. I'm like, it's not balls. <laughs> and then these are the sparkle and shine. And when I was getting ready today, I was like, oh, please tell me that didn't retire yesterday. That would have been super bad. Um, but we're just going to pick up and we're just going to keep adding. And then eventually I'm going to have to stick my fingers in there and push these down. Okay. To get them to stick. But I'm just going to kind of pile them on. And I personally don't care when I get these all picked up. I don't care if they're mixed up because I'm going to do this again. So I don't care if they're all in the same container. If you care, you might want to do one separately and then clean off all that mess and then do the other. Okay. Now we're done. We're done. I should have stamped on that, but you get, you y'all like my controlled environment, don't you? Look at that. Look at that. And there are none. There is nothing. I'm looking. I'm just trying to prove a point. There's nothing on my work surface that is stuck to my finger that was not on my work surface. So controlled environment is great. OK, so we're going to set this aside. And where did our card go? And that's what it looks like when you're done. You're just simply going to stamp your greeting at the bottom. Okay. Now I did try. We also sell for everything fancy sequins. So Jane says, Grandma Jane says, I think I had embossing paste that got so dry. I added a little water. Oh, it, it, did that work? When mine got so dry, Grandma, it did not. I could not bring it back to life. So that's when I've learned double, triple. So we sell these things. They're called Everything Fancy Sequins. You could use these. Like there's a million. Like you could make a million of these cards, right? I tried it on, I used the blue and I tried it on Night of Navy. I don't know if you can see just how pretty that is. I'm glad you like my controlled environment, Amy. Stick with me, girlfriend. I got more tips. That was an old one that I learned a long time ago when I was doing product shares and I had to count out all of those, th the little rivet things. Remember those things that you had to set with a gun? Eyelets, I had to count out eyelets. Okay, so play with it, try it, try it with different colors. Just have fun, just have fun. Okay, what is our next one? Look at our book because I got stuff everywhere. Oh, yeah. We are doing another one of Amy's cards. Amy, you are just, you're the star tonight, my friend. 
Amy taught us, again, at a meeting, to do a Joseph's technique, Joseph's uh, coat, Joseph's coat, yeah, Joseph's coat, here's the card, but we're going to do it instead, normally you do it with black, she did it with Knight of Navy, and I'm like, stop it, I love it with Knight of Navy, of course, on the screen right now, it looks pretty black, so we're going to do this, um, I am using um, Shimmery Wet, again, I love that paper, I love it, and I have sacrificed one of my blending br brushes, Joseph's coat. There you go. Thanks, Debbie. I was like, Joseph, like coat of many colors. That's what I was trying to think of. Okay. Where is, we need some embossing. Let's move our card out of the way so we don't make a mess. I have Daffodil Delight. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Let me get some more blending brushes. Y'all want to see well, all the stuff I got from the pre-order because I kind of went a little crazy. But I have lots of ideas and I wanted to get started with them. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cover my shimmery white with some ink. Now, I love to use the blending brushes, and I think that they just add color beautifully to um, your paper. This is Cajun Craze. I started with um, Daffodil Delight. <clears throat> yeah, Amy's the star. Uh, Mango Melody. Amy, show us some more, and I'll brag on you some more over here. Just, I'm just telling you, girl. Okay, Mango Melody. I guess I need another. I need another brush. <clears throat> okay. So Amy was um, on my team years ago, and then life happened. Kids happened. She went off and did her own thing, and then she came back to me. I'm so happy. Look how close these two colors look. They look pretty close to me. But now we're going to add in some dark. We're going to do some. Cajun Craze, okay, just kind of overlap a little bit. Add some more over here. And then let's add some more mango. You can do this as light or as dark as you want. I'm going to add more to the mango because I really feel like it looks like Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And I may even go back. I think I'm going to go back and add some more to the yellow. There we go. Let's get some yellow. Bring in some yellow here. Okay. So we've just covered it up. We really, the, this is the most important part of this whole step. You ready? Let it dry. <laughs> this is the third card that I've told y'all. Let it dry. Um, I am going to... Um, they says, I just got a message that we get 70,000 thoughts a day. No wonder my brain is full. 70,000? That's a lot. So you really, 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 really need to make sure that this layer is dry. I am going to use the heat gun for a hot minute because I want it to be dry. And I want you to remember this step. I think we're all visual learners, right? I can't get rid of you, Amy, and I don't ever want to get rid of you. This really needs to be dry. Now, is it dry? Probably. 
But to make sure and to do the next step anyway, I'm going to, now this is an older embossing buddy. I'm going to really pounce this on here, kind of rub it. Let's just make sure that it's good and dry, okay? If you don't have one of these, use a tissue. Rub something on there to make sure that it's good and dry. Got it? All right, let's get our stamps. I am using Celebrate Sunflowers, which today I was like, you know what? I think I've used that almost in like at least 50% of our technique classes. This is class number 12. We've been doing this for over a year. And how fun is that? Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, where's my card? Okay, I'm going to ink up my big flower. And whenever I have a big stamp, I like to ink it up this way to make sure that I get the entire image good and inked. Yes, I started with shimmery white and I color covered it with um, ink. I did Cajun Craze and Mango Melody and Daffodil Delight. Okay. Yes, great idea, Michelle. Let's show Amy some love. Go subscribe to her channel. Go comment. Go chat with her. Give her some love. All right. Now, I. it is very hard to see where this is. And I do get it. So here's what I'm going to do for y'all so that maybe you can see it. I don't know. I'm going to use, technically, I should be using clear embossing powder. I still don't think you're going to be able to see it. We'll see. We'll see. <coughs> like I could use white so that y'all could see it, but it's fine. It's all good. I just want to be able to see where that flower is. Little pat on the back. <coughs> um, the weather must be changing. Allergies, what? Gail, I'm so glad that my my presentations are helpful and fun. We just want to have fun doing this, right? All right. Uh, we're just going to heat set it. I can't see it. Oh, I'm just going to heat set it. Better safe than sorry. Y'all, we still can't see it, but it's fine. It's all fine. Okay, trust me, it's there. I know it's very hard to see here in the studio, so I know it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it is hard to see on the camera, but we're just gonna, our card's gonna look a little different. No two cards ever look the same, do they? Okay, we got our other little flower, other little sunflower up there. you're just now joining us we have been having fun this with january's technique class where i have already taught three techniques four three four how many three this is the fourth one i don't know I've taught a bunch of techniques already you can go back and watch the replay if you're just now joining us um we're gonna need that and I try to be so organized. There we go. Okay. All right. So now we have, can y'all see it? There we go. There's a little shiny flowers on there. Um, 
I am now going to use, let me get some, I'm going to post it now. I'm now going to use Night of Navy to add to my card and create the Joseph's coat pattern. I had my grandson this afternoon and he was a perfect little angel for me. Sweet little Baylor. Parents walked in and he went crazy. I was like, who are you? What, what, why are you upset? Anyway, they left right before I started the live and I'm like, whew, okay, I need a minute. All right. So we're just going to start adding. And now you can start to see my flower. I just love it with the shimmery white cardstock underneath and the Night of Navy instead of black. It just, it's a different shading and it's just prettier to the eye. I'm just, I just love it. So J Joseph's coat with a twist. It's what Amy called it. It's what we're sticking with it. Now, as I start moving around, this is still wet. Remember I had us dry that first layer. So I want you to remember that. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start holding our paper, holding our cardstock with a post-it note, okay? So that our fingers don't get dirty. No dirt. Well, at least from this. I can't promise that I won't have dirty fingers, but. Okay. Who's done Joseph's coat before and done it with black? Are you going to go and try it now with Knight of Navy? I hope so because it's so pretty. Oh, Cindy, early espresso. Why not? I think it I think it's just any dark any dark ink. Now, I do have a line right here from my post-it note, so I've moved it out of the way. Um, so don't forget to use your post-it notes because, look, yeah, that's from, you know, me picking up the ink, uh, the ink pad probably. Um, but it just helps keep your fingers from being – and you don't get fingerprints on this, okay? All right. You know my trick when we have ink on our fingers. Ah, evening evergreen. Enoch, you're right. Inica. Um, any dark ink. Okay. All right. So, okay. So the next thing we want to do is, where's that toilet paper? <laughs> Why not use it if we already have it out? I was like, oh, we need a tissue. Eh, I got toilet paper. <laughs> Too fun. Okay. Now I'm going to put this right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub... And look, can y'all see? You cannot see. See how it looks with the ink on the embossed flower? And then when we start to rub, we can see the flower come to life. Isn't that so fun? Super fun. See? Blue ink. Okay, let's finish this card up. Hmm. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> because I know that that Night of Navy ink is still wet. It's like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay, so I'm doing this quickly, but let that dry a little bit, guys. Give yourself some grace. Um, you don't want to go to all this trouble and then have your project ruined if some if the ink is still wet. How about Blackberry Bliss? I want y'all to try all these colors that you're suggesting and then share them over on my Facebook group, the um, TX Sharon Stamping Friends um, Facebook group. Okay, so we're going to add this. We're adding that. We're, so we're, what are we doing? We're using the same colors of cardstock that we did on the ink 
Okay. So I've got Mango Melody, Mango Melody, Cajun Craze, Cajun Craze. Daffodil Delight was in there just to give it some uh, lighter and dark shading. I decided, you know, we're going to be doing a lot tonight. The main thing is for me to teach you the techniques and put these cards together um, as quickly as possible so that y'all can go to bed if you need to. <laughs> um, so I stamped this greeting, let's celebrate you in with Versamark. And then I poured the black embossed powder over and I heat set. This is also on Mango Melody. I, I'm trying to use that color. I realize I have not used that color much. So I'm trying really hard to bring it out. It's not one of, it's not on my favorites list apparently, um, but I'm trying to use it. And um, I'm just using my snips to fussy cut this out. You don't have to do this this way. You can certainly add it with, um, you could just use your paper trimmer and cut it out. All right, let's see here. Whoops, that's a little big. I'm gonna add this on here with some dimensionals. Where's my snips? I'm just gonna give a little bit here and here. Let's see if that's big enough. Oh, that is close. Okay. There we go. Look at Michelle. She is on it tonight. She just showed you the link, <clears throat> excuse me, in the comments for the Facebook group for you to share your versions of the Joseph's Coat. There you go. Okay, we are done. What do we have next? I think we're going to go longer than an hour. Oh, we already are. We're going to do some watercolor embossing. What in the world? <clears throat> okay. And my piece is all ready. I am using the Stampin' Up! Fluid watercolor paper for best results because we are um, embossing and adding water. Water will curl paper, so we really want to... Um, Use the watercolor paper if we have it. If not, use shimmery white. Um, I better find. <clears throat> Did I show you all the card? I didn't talk about it. Here we go. And I think it's a perfect uh, sympathy card. Those are always hard. So the Butterfly Brilliance is technically all one stamp. But when I get stamps, I call them my stamps and I cut them apart if I want to. So I did. I want, there's been several times that I needed just a butterfly. And so I just cut it apart. Good night, Enika. Sorry, I'm keeping you way up. <clears throat> Enika is from the Netherlands. So it is a very late night for her. I am going to really ink this up. And stamp my butterfly. Oh, good night, Helen. Come back and watch the replay tomorrow whenever you get a chance so you can see the rest of the techniques. Okay. So we have done that. And now we need our embossing again. Where is our what? Oh, it's right here. <clears throat> so I'm embossing in the what? always want to close up that Versamark pad. Um, sometimes I get busy and I forget, but you do not want embossing powder in your um, Versamark pad. It's very hard to get out. Just It's so sticky. It's just very sticky. Now I'm going to hold this. Let's move that over there. And we're going to emboss. <clears throat> See, Margaret, it's our stamps, right? We can cut those things apart. We don't have to keep it all in one. If they'd asked us, Margaret, we'd have told them to make them all separate. <laughs> um, can you use pearlescent specialty paper instead of shimmery wax? I would not. You, can you cannot stamp very well on the pearlescent. It's too slippery. Very slippery. I would not use that. Um, you could... 
if it's a small piece like this, you could use the thick basic wax or the thick vanilla. Um, but yeah, I would not use shimmery wax. Okay, I think I've got it all embossed. You just always want to make sure when you're embossing that that powder is melted. Okay, that's that. All right. I have some ink refills. I'm using basic gray, a little dot. We just need just a titch of that and some Poppy Parade, just a little bit. We don't need much. And Mango Melody, look at me, trying to use that Mango Melody. Okay, now I am using the Aqua Painters. Oh, here they are. Um, just gonna use this one. And since I'm switching colors, I've got a jar of water here so that I can rinse and um, <clears throat> move on to the next one and all that. So what I'm doing first is I'm adding water. Now, if Amy Williams has done this card, I don't know about it. <laughs> I'm adding water to just one section of my butterfly. Now, there's a lot of embossing here. So... Um, I really want it to get down in the open areas of the embossing. And then what I'm going to do, let's see, where's my card? All right, this is the yellow. I'm just going to touch it and watch it just grow. So pretty. Let's get some more water in there. Look how fun. Now I got a little bit too much water, which is fine. Dab straight down, lift straight up because I got too much water. We're going to add a little bit of water to our ink refill. And we're going to do that again. I'm just kind of paint it on. The um, Now I've got too much color. So it's very forgiving in the sense that you have too much water, you have too much color. It's just like water coloring. Okay, so the butterfly itself is very, um, lots of veins, so there's a lot of embossing here. Okay, so it's not going to be a perfect, um, what do you call it, perfect shape, perfect color, okay, because of all the embossing. But I loved how it turned out. Years ago, I took a watercolor class, and I'm sure the lady was saying under her breath, please don't come back. <laughs> Please, please don't come back to my house um, because I'm a very heavy handed watercolorer. Um, now I am daubing this because I did add too much water, but um, so you can kind of just keep adding color when you need to. It's just fun. It's don't be stressed about watercoloring um, because it's so forgiving. You can add more water and, and almost get it, get the color gone. There we go. So you do want to make sure that there's no puddles. <laughs> Amy says she will now. <laughs> there's no puddles of water here before we go to the next color. Otherwise, they're going to bleed into each other. Okay, very important. So we're going to do it again. Just going to add some water, add some water. Okay. Now I've gone outside the lines. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What do we do? We dab that. We don't want our ink outside the lines. So we just dab that with the paper towel. We're going to add some color, add some water to this poppy parade. And we're going to touch it. There we go. That's what we want. We want that ink to just move. Okay. So pretty. So pretty. Just kind of helping it around because of all the veins in the wings. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, folding this up, and I'm gonna daub again. Perfect. And now we have the body. And for the body, we're adding a little bit of gray. Ooh, that was too watered down. I'm not gonna be able to see that. There we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Too watered down. Where'd my gray go? There's my gray. There it is. Um, Tina says she usually wipes the bristles along the edge of the glass to reduce the water on the brush. There you go. That's a good idea. Like that. So see, this is what uh, Tina was saying. Okay. So we're going to, we're not going to add water to that gray because it, it's pretty light anyway especially when I go to dab it. So I'm going to let it sit there for a minute before I dab. But can you all see the colors? It's just so pretty. The butterfly is very delicate. And I was looking at my daughter's um, invitations uh, for my granddaughter's birthday. It's butterflies. I was like, perfect. We'll have that on my stamp table. So there we go. We have watercolored our um, butterfly. If you're just now joining me, I am showing ten, uh, five techniques tonight uh, for my January technique class. And I try really hard to stick to an hour, but I, I know we're over an hour now. So I'm just adding all my layers together. Um, I do have a set of instructions. You can get these um, for, they're per, for purchase on my tutorial store, or I send them to you for free if you place an order of $50 or more during the month of January, which happens to be celebration. Um, celebration is when you get to pick a goodie out of a celebration brochure when your um, order is more than $50. So it's a win-win. You're going to get my free tutorial and you're going to get um, a free celebration item. There we go. All right, so this is these are some colors I don't use either. I love the bright colors, but I don't use. Uh oh, did I not get basic gray out? Nope. Basic gray. This is from. I didn't even show you all the stamp set. Peaceful moments. Okay, so these are the two stamp sets that I used. Y'all are saying that you daub on your chamois. That's another thing you can do. Okay, we're just going to add, oops. Well, that does not want to add adhesive here. And I kind of liked just tipping it. Butterflies kind of flying. There you go, my friends. We are almost done. I promise. I promise. What do we have next? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, easy peasy. This one is so easy. I was almost embarrassed to write the instructions that's how easy but i want you to remember it so it's in the it's in the pdf i am using good feeling stamp set and i'm using the adorable owls oh you can't see that that is a free celebration item okay i'm using the hive 3d embossing folder and i've already embossed my basic gray. And I'm going to add that to a, my card base, which is also basic gray. Whenever I am adding embossed layers, I always use liquid glue. Oh, I forgot to mention the Creative 8 team is having a online retreat next weekend who's coming to that it will start next friday the 13th friday night well that's scary one oh there it is <laughs> i was like whoa where's the lid um it will start next friday night and then all day saturday or most of the day on saturday it is an online retreat that is held here on youtube um you'll learn like 30 you'll get 36 tutorials we'll do mystery stamping and you will um, 
it's all for $45. What was those 70,000 thoughts? So I'm going to take the good feeling stamp set. I already stamped my owl and colored him. Oh, I didn't leave enough room for my greeting. What do I do? Mm -hmm. You're going to turn it into this kind of card. And I'm going to show you how to take one stamp and turn it into two. Okay. This is called omitting. Uh, where is it? We're going to omit. Where is my ink pad? There it is. We need a block. Nope. I always like to pick up my stamp with my block. I'm going to use Starry Sky as my ink pad. Lisa says she'll be at the retreat, but she'll have to watch a lot of replays. That's okay. You know, the, the retreat, you have access to the retreat forever. You can live anywhere in the world and be on the retreat. Um, and you can always go back and watch the replays if you miss something. So I'm taking scotch tape. What did I wipe my hands off with? Um, I use hand sanitizer so that I can keep on stamping. We can't be slowing down to go wash our hands. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting scotch tape over the word you. Okay, really pressing it on. And I'm going to need several pieces because this is kind of a curvy stamp. I'm catching that. I want to catch all of the word and all of the exclamation. And if I have to use a ton of tape, I don't care because it's cheap, 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 cheap. Okay. All right. So I feel pretty secure. So now I've got, I'm going to ink up. Please make sure that you remove the scotch tape. <laughs> Can you imagine what that would look like? We don't want to do that. We want to simply remove the tape like that. And stamp. Ta-da! Where is this tape dispenser from? Years ago, years ago, uh, office supply store, I'm sure. Um, I just realized, where's my chamois? Where's my chamois? Because I need it. <laughs> Where did that go? Okay, in a pinch. I basically need to clean my stamp off. And I had that chamois somewhere. All right, we're just going to clean our stamp really quick because the show must go on. It'll show up when I'm cleaning up. How many times have you forgotten to remove the tape? It only takes you one time to go, oh my gosh, did I do that? <laughs> All right, we're just cleaning this up, getting it good and dry. Now we're gonna take tape again, and we're gonna cover up the thank you, or the thank, we'll leave the you and the exclamation. Oh gosh, Cheryl has left the tape on more times than you know. That's too funny. Okay, well hear me whispering in your ear, take off the tape, take off the tape. Maybe if you have the tape hanging over, you might remember. You know, you're like, oh, look at that. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to ink up the U. Look at that blob. We don't want that. Let's remove that. Don't you dare get on me. <laughs> okay. 
And now we're going to stamp you. Perfect. Perfect. Oh gosh, all that talk of leaving the tape on. What if I'd have done that? <laughs> that would have been bad. And then I say out loud, remove the tape, Bay. Remove the tape. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Okay. We are adding something to an embossed layer. So we want to add some liquid glue that we should have had in our little container. There we go. Done. Ta-da! Another technique class in the works. And that was an hour and 20 minutes. I am so sorry, but we had a good time. We learned some new techniques tonight, I hope. Um, if you ever have any questions, you need to contact me, you need anything from me, look below the video and you can find me, um, find out all my links there. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend coming up. Um, I'll be back on Monday with Mystery Monday Stamping. And happy stamping, y'all. It's not ending. <laughs> hmm. Technology. Technology. Bye, y'all.